Good day dog lovers, allergies are conditions caused by the immune system mistaking ordinarily harmless substances as an invader. Such harmless substances are called allergens. Allergens could be from the environment such as pollen, dust mites and mold, or food allergens such as milk, meat, nut and much more. When allergens are ingested, inhaled, or come in contact with the body, they trigger the immune system to produce excessive amount of IgE antibodies, resulting in release of various irritating chemicals such as histamine. Also, imagine the immune system as a bucket with a genetic baseline. As water level rises when it takes in allergens, the host will not experience any signs until it begins to spill over. With this allergy bucket analogy, we understand that the allergens cumulatively loaded in the bucket are the problems causing the symptoms. Just like human, dogs can have allergies too, and it is known as canine atopic dermatitis. Clinical signs typically begin between two to six years of age, and multiple breeds are predisposed, such as German Shepherd, Golden Retrievers, Shih Tzu and Poodles were reported. Initial signs are redness in various body parts and itchiness which could lead to self-trauma, causing secondary lesions. Diagnosis of canine atopic dermatitis is very challenging, as there is no one tests to determine the condition. Veterinarian has to face economic and frustrated owners, as diagnosis is long and complex. To diagnose, vets need good history from owner and ruling out various diseases such as flea allergy, fungal and yeast, parasites and bacterial infection. Vets may even propose serum-specific IgE allergy testing, such as Allerspot as a diagnosis aid. Ideally the test should be done before any treatment, as some medications could interfere with the results. As complex as diagnosing the disease is the treatment. Most veterinarians would propose symptomatic treatment initially, but long-term management should be discussed. Avoidance of certain allergens and immunotherapy should be discussed as part of a long-term strategy. The involvement of intestinal flora should also be discussed, as 70% of the immune system is in the gut. Specially cultured bacteria such as Allersoft could influence priming of the immune system to better response to allergen. A logical workup will confirm or exclude the diagnosis, therefore be patient and discuss long-term strategy with your veterinarians. It could be frustrating at times, but in the long run it would be the best for your pooch. Hope you learned something today. Take care and stay safe during this period.